Hello everybody, my name is Angela and I am an account manager here at Lamb Central. And today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different, um, about a topic that I find actually quite interesting. So a while back I had a customer, um, I was talking to a customer and she was asking um, about different properties and I asked her, well, what is your goal? What do you wanna do with your land? And she says, well, I wanna do permaculture. And at that time, I had not heard that term. And I was like, what is permaculture? So I decided to look it up. And now I'm gonna explain to you a little bit about what permaculture is. So the term permaculture means permanent agriculture. It was originated by Australian researcher, scientist, and teacher Bill Mollison in the 1970s. Um, it is a whole system design concept. So it was co-developed with David Holmgren, an Australian environmental designer, ecological educator, and writer. And whole systems means that permaculture not only encompasses agriculture, but also horticulture, ecology, and architecture. So, but that's not all. It also includes economic systems, legal systems um, for businesses and communities, and land access strategies. With all of these components applied, permaculture encourages us to follow the patterns and relationships found in nature. So, nature is diverse, and so is the design of permaculture. Um, depending on the location, the climate, conditions that are available, um, available resources, this, could, this creates a sustainable and earth-friendly system. So caring for the earth, the people, and reinvesting all surpluses are permaculture's ethical principles. For example, an orange tree supplies fruit for food and cash for crops, leaves for, leaves for mulch and rinds for compost, dead twigs for fire, and shade people and other plants. So like just that one plant does a lot of benefits, benefits or that one tree. Um, if the orange tree is local, depending on where you live. So if you can find fauna or plants or things like that that are local, it helps sustain that ecological area where you're at. When using a permaculture design, the gardener seeks out plants that offer practical benefits to the area and also offers a pleasing view. So it's not only like planting, but it's architecture too, so it can be land design. So instead of plant, planting flowering shrubs for a border, the gardener may use a raspberry bush. So where is permaculture applied? So this concept can be used in an urban or a rural setting um, to create whole communities or a simple backyard design. So if you have a uh, like urban setting, um, a lot of people have used their front yard, rooftops, things like that. Um, or, you know, in a rural setting, you know, you can <laughs> do a whole piece of land. <laughs> so adding a variety of plants that work together helps create a backyard ecosystem, which can catch water in a landscape, provide habitats for animals and beneficial insects, um, or even grow an edible forest to produce seasonal fruits, nuts, other foods. Um, also, using alternative building materials for a dwelling, like a cob house, um, could be beneficial too. So this could be a great option for those who um, dream about living off the grid. Um, what's nice about permaculture is there are organizations and institutions worldwide offering permaculture designs, um, design courses where one can get certified. Um, so you can learn how to design permaculture or finding someone to create a design that is perfect for your needs, whether it's your own backyard or a community. So what's cool is Land Central, we offer a variety of land that could help somebody in their dreams create a sustainable environment by offering, um, that, that is offered by a permaculture design. So um, what's nice about permaculture is it's basically when humans live in harmony with nature, not in spite of it. Um, 
So I'm going to give you some, like, three simple tips um, where you can start with that permaculture can offer you or you can start. Um, the first one is, you know, don't, you know, be mindful of the waste that we produce. So nature really doesn't produce any waste. Um, from herbivore droppings to dead carcasses, nothing goes unused. So humans, um, we like to be wasteful, <laughs> but you know, we can work with nature and there's some simple things you could do. Like don't use plastic bags, take cloth bags or reusable bags when you go to the grocery store. Um, when you are buying stuff, be conscious of the packaging, you know, is there, can you get bulk? Um, do a compost bin or you know, you can look for biodegradable materials around your house. Um, another useful tip is use animals to solve your problems. So every animal has a specific job in nature. Aside from the obvious honeybee pollinating all the little plants, um, we have some other animals that are useful like chickens. Chickens are a natural pest control. They like to eat grubs and insects um, that would harm your crops and their um, droppings are nice for your <laughs> soil. Um, goats, goats like to eat all sorts of things like the weeds in your yard, um, so they can, or anything else. So, you know, you have a pesky blackberry vine or, you know, just don't leave them alone in your garden. Um, cats and dogs, those are great rodent controls, you know, so things like that. There's a lot of, you know, different animals that can help with your permaculture goals. Um, you can just, that last tip is just start small. So um, permaculture is a lifestyle. It is um, something you can just make small changes. Um, you know, you don't have to go big. You can start small. So for example, like your land came with a lot of trees. So don't cut them down to make room for your chicken coop. Let the chickens forage under the trees um, like they were designed to do. So permaculture doesn't have to be complicated. Um, and like I said before, there's a lot of um, places out there that will help you. There's institutions, certified permaculture uh, architect people. <laughs> um, and Land Central, we offer a, a wide variety of different types of land, whether it be urban or whether it be rural, depending on what your goals are. So I invite you to go to our website at www.landcentral.com and check us out. Um, I hope this uh, video was informational and you got some fun information out of it. And if you like us, um, you can subscribe to our channel or like us on Facebook. Um, thank you for stopping by today and I hope you have a great day.